So for A and B of question 19, we were given an X score and we had to find the percentile. For C and D, what we're going to do is we're going to go in the opposite direction. For a given percentile, what is the corresponding X score? So question 19C, the percentile, it says, what is the 20th percentile? What is the X score associated with the 20th percentile? So we, can, we, have, we first have to find what category or what interval is it likely to fall in. And so it's not going to be in this lowest category because the 5.5, the a score of 5.5 is associated with the 16th percentile and 16 is less than 20. And it's going to be somewhere in this interval here and I know that because the lower percentile is 16, but by the time that I get up to 6.5, I'm at 36. Um, I'm at the 36th percentile, and so that is larger than 20. So I know it has to be somewhere between 5.5 and, and 6.5. And so the first thing that I need to do is find, step one, is find the interval widths. So the interval width on X is 6.5 minus 5.5, which is 1.0, which is the same as it has been for the previous ones because for a given question, the interval width of x does not change. The interval width on the percentages column usually changes. And so the percentile here, the width goes from 36 down to 16, and so that is 20. The interval width on the percentages is 20. Step two, we need to find out how far into this category is the 20th percentile. So to do that, we go 36 is the upper and 16 is the lower, and we're wondering where is 20. So overall, it is 20 units. And it happens to be the same, but that's coincidental. And so here we have 36 minus 20 equals 16. We have to go down 16 out of 20 steps to get to this location. So 16 divided by 20 equals, Sorry, I don't trust my, math, my basic math skills. I want to get this right. Um, so that is 8 out of 10. I should have just simplified it and 0 0.8. <clears throat> so twen the 20th percentile is 80% of the way down. Um, and so for step 3, we need to find out how far is 80% down in the X column. Um, so we do 0 0.8 times the interval width of x, which happens to be 1. Um, that will not always be the case. And so we know we have to go 0.8 units down from the upper real limit. So step 4, we know that the upper real limit of x is... 6.5, and the lower real limit on this category is 5.5, and we're trying to find out this score, and we know that we have to go down 0.8 units. So the answer is 6.5 minus 0.8, which is 5.7. The 20th percentile is associated with a score of x equals 5.7.